Big Boys Big Neighborhood Boy. Power 106, it is going down, man. Broadcasting all the way live from the Kettle One Martini That's Lounge right. in the Lexus Dugout Club. Backstage breakfast with the mighty Los Don't Angeles Shane. Dodgers. Sitting down with Shane Victorino in the neighborhood. And Shane, you definitely are a music fan. Your son's name is Kingston. Can you tell us where <laughs> oh, that, that came mercy. from? Who influenced that? <laughs> I'll give you guys one guest. Yep. And that's the guy by the name of Bob Marley. Go ahead now. You know, I was a big fan. I mean, growing up in Hawaii, uh, you know, we oh. have Hawaiian music, but we are very influenced by, by reggae music. Um, you know, I guess because of the islands and, the, you know, that of kind course. of relaxation kind of stuff. But, you know, big fan of Bob. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, Bob Marley, to me, had an impact on all music. Um, you know, his, his legendary, um, you know, his lyrics and what he expressed through his music. You know, during those times of his life, I think was very special. Um, you know, and I, I've always been a fan of Bob and, you know, the whole Marley family. I think, you know, the rest of their siblings, uh, his, I should say his siblings and everybody else in the family and continue to produce, produce great music. And, uh, you know, hopefully someday I'm trying to get Ziggy to come out and throw out a first pitch here. Wow. At the yeah. So cool. we'll see if that make When you're listening happen. to this Bob Marley, what, <laughs> what do you do? Uh, Activities? You know, I, uh, no, not at all. Um, no, you know, no, no, no. I'm saying he could be <laughs> swinging you said relax, you know, yeah. you're from Hawaii. You know, obviously I come out to the plate, uh, you know, when I walk out to my, uh, to, to bad, yep. I come out right. to the Buffalo let's, let's, say you, let's say you're at the house. Uh -huh. At the house, just chilling? <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's just say you're at the house. You know what I'm saying? You're listening to some Bob Marley. I obviously uh, got the kids around, so you know oh, I'm just okay. relaxing. See if um, the kids you know. are gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll keep the that kids, personal. But, yeah, there uh, it is. Yeah, best so. believe it. I don't know if they test you them know. out here. <laughs> yeah, they do. So uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, obviously, I, again, I'm just a fan of music in general. Right. You know, hip hop, you know, country, uh, you know, techno, any kind of music. I think you know, you music, music to me, I can I can shut off a TV all day long, not watch and not turn on TV and listen to music all day long. I, I think that. you know the way people express their lyrics. Um, you know, in these times, you know, and what we're living in, I think it's very special to sometimes listen and, and take the words in. Yeah, you know, I don't like all the vulgar and all that stuff like that, but, you know, sometimes that's the way to express yourself. And, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, again, for me, I think, you know, musicians have a great way of expressing their feelings through their music. And, you know, again, I'm a big fan of music. You're not no inside, like, closet rapper, though, right? No, not at all. You definitely will not hear me rapping or singing. You're like, hey, Big, I wanted to holler at you, man. I don't know how to do it in front of everybody. Trust me, you don't want to hear that. We got Shane Victorino in the neighborhood, Big Boy Neighborhood. Bye.